Buongiorno and greetings from this gorgeous Tuscan kitchen here at Affinity Kitchens in Scottsdale. Now today we're going to make a fantastic Italian dish. It's going to be one of your new favorites, I promise. It's a baked ziti casserole. And what makes this recipe out of this world is the pasta is smothered in pesto before it goes into the casserole. You're going to love this recipe. So let's get started. I've got some delicious pasta sauce simmering away here on the stove and to that I'm going to add one pound of hot Italian sausage, bulk sausage. You get about three or four links to a pound so if you can't find the bulk just buy the links, slice them right down the middle and pop the sausage out of the casings. This looks beautiful, the sausage is cooked and I'm ready to add it to my pasta sauce. And now we're going to take some shredded mozzarella and some whole milk ricotta and we're going to blend it together. Let me give you a tip on shopping for ricotta. It's going to come with a plastic lid. I want you to take that lid off because there's going to be a safety seal here and I want you to just make sure that it looks creamy because sometimes it can look real curdly and that's uh, more than likely it's been frozen. So that's not what you want. You want it to look nice and smooth and creamy. Perfect. So I've got some pasta boiling away here and as soon as it's done we're going to put together our baked ziti casserole. But while we're waiting for it to cook, I wanted you to know who designed this kitchen and what went into making it as functional as it is beautiful. Her name is Deborah Miller and she's a certified master kitchen designer here at Affinity Kitchens. And Deborah's job is to turn your wants and needs into something spectacular. Damn, people love this kitchen and they come into the space, into this kitchen and they don't want to leave and they don't know why. And I can tell you, it has everything to do with the design. We are finding today that kitchens are no longer kitchens. They're actually part of the home. And people want us to incorporate pieces of furniture that go with their decor. Taking this island, for instance, which most people want to feel like a piece of furniture just slid into place, it has to function as well as look like a beautiful piece of furniture. For instance, this drawer, looks like two drawers, but when you open it, it's actually one large drawer, which is more functional. So two drawers look better, one drawer functions better. When I designed this space, I wanted to do something completely different. Everyone has seen the typical diagonal corner in everyone's kitchen, and I wanted this to be special. So I elevated the counter and created a coffee bar or bake center where you could actually display your food, your desserts, and have a wonderful buffet. As part of our bake center, there's a warming drawer where you could keep your food warm and then conveniently place it up on the bar. I can't tell you how many clients have actually loved this idea and have put it in their own homes. The sink is another area where you can be creative and create a very much of a furniture feel. The farm sink can be very popular in an old world setting because it has the beauty and charm on its own. But we've also created a furniture feel with some poles on either side and again that great symmetry. Also above the sink we've created a, an unfitted look as opposed to cabinets just all lining up and connecting together. We've created a beautiful little setting with some glass doors and some corbels. One easy way to incorporate something interesting and different and give your kitchen some more character is to create some inserts into a space. When designing any kitchen, we have to balance the beauty of the kitchen as well as the function of the kitchen. This kitchen is a great example of form and function. It's not only a joy to cook in, but it's so beautiful and so warm and inviting, you never want to leave. 
You'll see a lot of other kitchen designs here at Affinity Kitchens, but this Tuscan style just makes me feel so at home. You know, I was standing in this kitchen about a year ago, and I asked Stephen Clausen, the owner, if he could have one favorite meal to come out of this kitchen, what would it be? He immediately said his wife Fern's baked ziti. He said it's like heaven on earth, and there's no better aroma to greet him at the door when he comes home from a hard day of work. Well, I had to have that recipe, and I got it just for you. All right, the pasta is done. We're going to drain it, but not rinse it. And we want the pasta to be a little bit firm because it's still going to bake. And now for the good stuff. You'll spoon some fresh pesto into the pasta and mix it gently until all the pasta is coated. You could buy pesto already made, but it's so easy to make yourself. You'll need some fresh basil, some good olive oil, a little garlic, and some Parmesan cheese, and then some nuts like pine nuts or almonds or walnuts. Blend it together and you've got a great pesto. And now we're ready to assemble. The first thing we'll do is put some of the meat sauce on the bottom of the casserole that I've already sprayed with oil. Next comes the pesto pasta. Now the third layer is the ricotta and mozzarella blend. We're just going to repeat the process until all the ingredients are used up. Now I already have a large casserole already in the oven. This is a smaller one because I want to freeze it. This freezes really well. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of sauce and then a sprinkling of mozzarella and fresh grated Parmesan cheese. This cheese grater is one of my most priceless and precious family heirlooms. It was my mama's cheese grater. She brought it from Italy about 60 years ago and all through my life we grated cheese on it. And I'm still using it today. I love it. Okay, it goes in the oven 375 degrees for about 40 minutes. Cover it first, and then the last five minutes, take the foil off and let that cheese brown a little bit. So here you go, Fern Clausen's incredible baked ziti casserole. And watch how beautiful it is when we cut into it. What a meal, right? The recipe is right here along with all the information about this Tuscan masterpiece and all the other kitchen designs here at Affinity Kitchens. Come up and see them for yourself and I'll see you next time when we help design your cuisine.